What's up guys, welcome back to more Atlas news. We have got patch V519.5 which includes some pretty cool stuff including a new lumberyard which is pretty awesome I think, looks cool anyway. Going to be doing a new format this week, I want to try it out. So we're going to have the news which will be the post that goes with the patch and then we'll have another video with the patch notes to split it up. Hope you guys enjoy both but let me know what you think that down below but let's crack on with the news. Massive shout out to the latest YouTube members and patrons Jonathan Hansen and Joseph Dufresne. Ahoy Pathfinders last week was quite a ride and we would like to thank you all for continuing to sail along with us. It has been about six months now since we have renewed the Atlas journey and now the last scheduled patch of the year is upon us. We have made several fixes to the ramming galley, armoured docks and more. This includes a fix for explosive barrels so they no longer deal damage in free ports and removing some bad maps from treasure map spawning. Christmas trees and ship level caps have also been fixed. We've also included a few changes like the much requested increase to reversing sailing speed which has now been increased to 200%. The glider suit may now only be activated under 100 meters height as well. As a little bonus, bears can now also wear hats. <laughs> For the full list of bug fixes and changes, please see the change log. Most importantly, we've also made some server reliability improvements that should also help to reduce incidents of losses. To fully address the issue will be a long-term process as it is a multifaceted issue and touches many aspects of the code. We are touching on different symptoms of it throughout development as we continue to make our investigations and improve the code. Please continue to report these issues to us as they greatly aid in our efforts to optimise and improve the Atlas experience. Thanks for your patience, understanding and support. New. Tonight's patch has quite a few new things in store. First up, we have the Lumberyard. A farmhouse variation that gathers only thatch and wood. All of the systems we have been implementing will continue to see development and improvements as we refine them based on feedback and observation. This is the first step towards the new iteration of the farmhouse system as we introduce specialised variants. Regular farmhouses will still continue to collect wood and thatch for now. However, lumberyards will gather them at a much faster rate. Aye, and were you looking for a way to store all your drinks for the holidays? <laughs> wow, that accent. Okay, we'll go with it. The new keg is the perfect way to store and transport your alcohol. After all, drinks taste best directly from a keg, don't they? The keg can be crafted at the smithy after learning the secrets of cooking skill in the cooking and farming tree for only 30 fibre, 5 metal, 50 thatch and 60 wood. You can build a keg and be able to store any alcohol items in stacks of 50. Drinks for everyone. Having trouble taming some creatures? Might we recommend the new Trank Arrow? The Trank Arrow is a new ammo type for the bow that deals high amounts of support and little physical damage. It can be used to put creatures to sleep, allowing pirates to more easily contain them for taming. Trank Arrows can be crafted in the Mortar and Pestle after learning the Taming Tier 2 skill in the Beast Mastery Tree. Ramming Galley. Last week, the first of the new ships that can be bought for gold, the Ramming Galley, hit the shores of Atlas. We were excited to see our baby in action and have made a number of changes to help it create more of a splash. We increased its base speed by 40% and have also increased its turn speed while sails are closed. As a ship meant to directly attack and charge into others, it needed more oomph, <laughs> so we increased the damage of all cannons on the Ramming Galley from 100 to 125%. Ramming galleys will also now deal damage to NPC ships. To compensate its strength a bit, the ramming galley now costs an additional 75 rhino horns, a new resource type obtained from defeating rhinos to purchase. In addition to these changes, we also made a number of bug fixes to the ramming galley, which can be viewed in the full change log that follows. As with the features and mechanics we have so far introduced, we will continue to balance and refine the ramming galley. What's next? Previously we discussed a rework of the claim system. Originally, we intended to introduce this by the end of this year. As things move in development and new challenges present themselves, timelines and ideas can often change. We are still working on the new claim system's implementation and testing it. It will likely not be introduced until early next year. 
Many were concerned that a rework of the claim system would bring about a wipe. Although wipes are inevitable in early access, we also do our best to wipe when it's absolutely necessary. At this time, there's no estimated or set date for a wipe and we will continue to keep the community updated if that changes. As the last patch of the year, the Atlas team will be setting sail for a small holiday break. The next scheduled patch will be the week of January 11th. However, we will continue to perform daily server restarts and we will have our spyglass handy to watch out for any urgent issues that may require our attention. Otherwise, pass us your kegs and some glasses, please. Happy holidays. Awesome. So there you go. There's the news or the post that goes with the patch notes. Like I said, we will do the patch notes in a separate video to try and break up the information a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully you guys like that idea. Let me know down below. But let's talk about the news. Let's talk about what was in this patch. So, first of all, the wipe. This is super important, so I'm going to start with that. They're now saying that the claim system won't be ready until early next year, which potentially means any time between January and April, I would say. Um, so, still not very clear on that, but it's good. At least we know we've got a few months before it comes out and the reason I say that is because despite what they say here regarding wipes that we also do our best to wipe only when it's absolutely necessary at this time there is no estimated set date for a wipe and we will keep the community updated although they say that they originally said with the claim system it would require a wipe they don't even answer that there they mention it they say many were concerned that a rework of the claim system would bring about a wipe many were concerned because that is what they said <laughs> <laughs> that was in one of the earlier patches. Um, they still don't even clarify whether or not that is the case. But at least now, if it is the case, we do know we've got a couple of months probably until there is any need for it. But maybe the claim system isn't going to need a wipe. They're not very clear. I wish they would clear that up. But at least it's nice to know the claim system isn't going to be out in the next week or two. It's going to be a little while. So if it does require a wipe, we've got a bit extra time on official, which for me is pretty cool because now I feel like I can go and play official again and get stuff done before there's a wipe. So I'm happy with that. I would like some more clarification on it. But yeah, they definitely did say originally that the claim system would require a wipe. So whether that still stands or not, I don't know. The ramming galley, I love the ramming galley. I know it's kind of split opinions on it at the moment. I think these changes will go a good way to fixing that issue. Um, I like the new changes, the increased base speed by 40% and also increased turn speed while sales are closed. I'm guessing that the increased base speed is also while sales are closed. That's what that sounds like. I'm not too sure, but either way, it's nice. Um, the increase to the cannons the damage to the cannons 100 to 125 percent that is so cool um i already think it's amazing that you can buy a ship and get 20 cannons on it straight away without any need to craft them i think that's pretty cool and now they're going to be 125 percent damage cannons i think the ramming galley is actually pretty cool if you somehow manage to get together like 22 24 grand whatever it is for the ramming galley fast it might actually be worth making it your first purchase after a schooner instead of a brigantine because you're going to instantly get a full ship that can go anywhere against the wind you know the wind don't matter anymore it's pretty nippy it's tanky it does a ton of damage and it comes with 20 cannons i think this would be wicked to go out and explore with i know you might struggle can you even get animals on it i didn't try but um, it's not ideal for exploring, but you can get around with it. Like I said, you can go against the wind, and it's pretty cool. The, I think you'd have to get used to the gameplay of repairing it. If you stay on top of that, I think it's actually quite tanky. Um, but the firepower is nuts. I think it's pretty cool. And I think these updates just make it an even better ship. I'm really impressed with the ramming galley. I, I can't wait to see what else they add to the game along these lines. I hope we don't lose the customizable ships that we have at the moment where we can build them all from scratch. But at the same time, I do like the look of the modular building. It'll be awesome to add ores to all ships and things like that. So this is really interesting. Maybe we'll have specialised ships. That'd be good as well. Maybe we'll have like an animal transport ship, a haulage ship, you know, battle brigantine style ships, battle galleon style ships that are all modular and they serve specific purposes. 
But personally, I would hate it if they took away the customizable factor of what we have with the current um, ship system. So they've said they're not going to take it away, but it, like I said, it'll be interesting to see what we get going forward with that modular building because it could be pretty cool. And like I said, we could see some really nice implementations with it. So in the last video I did, the last patch notes, um, they mentioned they were working on a new taming system. I don't know how much this will go towards it. I just think this is a quick fix for now to improve the the taming. But they've added the Trank Arrows. Obviously, we all know that is from Ark. And it's going to put creatures to sleep. I don't know whether you're going to have to sit there and feed them. Or whether we're going to put the food in the inventory of an animal like you do on Ark. I don't quite know how that's going to work. We'll have to have a look. But it is cool. I'd much rather this than the current system we have. I would like to see a unique taming system for Atlas, I really would, I've said it before, I think it'd be wicked if it was a bit like the Equus taming on the Ark, where you mount an animal, or you bowler it, you let it out, you mount it, you have to do a mini game pressing different buttons as they appear on your screen, try and stay on the animal's back, if you win, the animal's tamed. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to have, something along them lines, a bit more physical, something different to Ark, not just make it go to sleep, shove berries in its ivanic tree and walk off and leave it until it um, pops up tamed. I don't like that. I do like what they were doing with the Atlas taming system. You know, you bowler it, you have to sit there and try and feed it, but it was very frustrating. It was a bit buggy. I say a bit buggy. It was very buggy. It was really hard to do on your own sometimes. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see a new version of it. But like I said, this is a nice step for now to have the trank arrows i hope it don't just stay like that they did say they was working on a new system so i hope this isn't the new system i don't think it is but um yeah we've got trank arrows in game now they don't work against players either so uh, they're not gonna be you know op in pvp they won't work against npcs or players they only work against animals we've got the keg i think that's a pretty nice addition bit random but it's pretty cool um, it makes sense. I've always wondered why we don't have something to store alcohol in or why we don't just have a straight up keg that you can store massive amounts of different alcohols in. And now we do. Uh, as someone that likes building and making stuff look cool and make things a bit sort of RP like, uh, this is a nice addition to be able to pop kegs down everywhere. Um, and it's cool that it stacks items up to 50 for the alcohol, so that's pretty cool. Obviously, one of the biggest points of this post is the lumber yard this is awesome so we are going to see different specializations come in so the first one being the lumber yard farms thatching wood it's going to farm it much quicker than a farmhouse does but a farmhouse for the moment at least is still going to farm them things uh, does it mean the farmhouse will disappear and we'll see these specialized like lumber yards etc maybe we're going to have a mine for for stone and metal and stuff like that um, I'm not too sure. It does sound like eventually they're going to take the wooden thatch off the farmhouse, which would kind of mean eventually if you had a specialization for each specific resource, then the farmhouse would be pointless. Um, but either way, I like this. I think this is cool. Moving very quickly towards like fully automated farming. Obviously, this is mainly aimed... Everything they do is aimed at PvP and making the PvP experience better. PvP players don't like doing the PvE stuff, they don't like grinding out resources and stuff, that's fair enough. So this is definitely going to go towards that, but also this is going to make things better for people that are trying to learn the game. When you're just new to the game and you keep dying and losing ships and things like that, getting your base wiped, this is going to make things much more doable this is going to make things much easier to take when you lose things because you're going to be able to get these like lumber yards established you're going to be able to farm faction wood much quicker it's just going to speed up the whole process um i also think for pv this is kind of cool um i don't mind grinding resources jumping on an elephant farming wood and stuff like that but at the same time sometimes i just want to crack on and build a base or build ships and things and, you know, this is going to make that much easier as well. So it's a good, I think it's a good addition to the game. I can't wait to, to see what else they add. Like I said, maybe we're going to get a mine for stone and metal and things like that. I would like to see an actual farmhouse that you put down 
that allows you to put crop plots around it that you plant vegetables in. And rather than having to keep continuously running around picking up your vegetables, the farmhouse will automatically gather the vegetables until you run out of fertilizer or water or, you know, something along them lines. And if you keep it all topped up, it just keeps farming. I think that would be a cool addition and it would make sense. And, um, yeah, it would be cool to see what else they add. <laughs> also, we've got bears can now wear hats. That's an amazing update. We needed that. <laughs> now, before we get salty, they did say as a bonus. So, and I think it's a nice little bonus. That's brilliant. I'm happy with that. <laughs> a couple other cool things were mentioned were the increased reverse speed um, by 200%, which was much requested. They have made the glider suit only usable under 100 meters, which I think means. It'll be harder for people to get into the tops of bases, etc. in PvP. Um, let me know what you guys think in PvP. Is that going to be a good change? Is it going to make a big difference? Um, obviously for PvE, it actually kind of sucks. How <laughs> We like climbing up big stuff and jumping off it. So, um, yeah, that'll be interesting. Although it might now mean that if you forget to log on and your animals become claimable people won't be able to just fly over the top and claim them as easily if you've got a big enough all i don't know but yeah let me know what you guys think to that they have removed some bad maps from treasure map spawning so i'm hoping that now means that when you're out hunting for maps to go and do and you're picking up bottles when you see that nice juicy masterwork map appear in front of you and you pick it up it will actually appear in your inventory now and not just disappear hopefully that's what that means uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, they fixed explosive barrels again, or not fixed them, they've improved the way they work, so they no longer deal damage in free ports, which is a nice touch. So there you go, guys. I think this is a pretty cool patch. It's some nice news to end the year on. Uh, massive shout out to the dev team. Despite what opinions people might have, I think they've done a great job this year. It's been... You know, Atlas as a game has been hard to develop. It's really struggled. And I think this is a, a you know, moving in the direction of a much brighter future for the game. And, um, yeah, massive shout out to the dev team and everyone involved in it that are continuing to work on it and improve the game. And for more recently, you know, being very open with us, giving us much more communication, updates, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, it's awesome. So Merry Christmas to you guys, a Happy New Year, and thanks for your hard work. I know that's a bit soppy, guys. People are going to meme me for it, but whatever. I think it's important that we, you know, we say thank you to them and um, let them know that they, despite what opinions people might have, that you know they're working on a game we love, and you know this year, no matter what you think, they have done a great job. They've really put the effort in, and like I said, most recently, it's been awesome to have regular updates and communication from the guys um especially um nami on discord she puts up with a lot of abuse and uh yeah great job guys thank you very much like i said guys we'll do the patch notes in another video we'll want to try out a new format see what people think to it so we'll have the news and then the patch notes so i'll put a link at the end of the video a link in the description a link in a pinned comment so it's nice and easy to get to and um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it or found it informative, or whatever. Um, <laughs> if you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. If I don't speak to you before, guys, Merry Christmas, have a happy new year, and I will see you in the next one.